gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Math Circus! Introducing Cookie Clown, who will never let you down! Introducing Dumbbell Bay, who lived in a cave! Introducing Mr. Mad Mystic, who's always so optimistic. So, sit down, take a seat, pay attention, and welcome once again to the Mad Circus. And now, here we have Mr. Mad Mystic, the man who is always so cryptic. Well, I'm seeing the future, man. By tomorrow, you're gonna learn everything you're gonna have to learn today. Well. And now, here is Cookie Clown. The clown with the upside down frown! Hello everybody! Are you ready for a new math game? By the end of this game, you should be able to... Recognize and use the greater than and less than signs correctly. You should also be able to compare and order the numbers 0 to 50 accurately. Are you ready? Fabulous! Let's go! For this game, you are going to need your number square. So if you don't have it yet, pause this game Go and get it, okay? Fantastic. So, I have my number square right here. Let's take a look at all of these numbers. I'm going to pick this number. What number did I pick? That's right, 35. So, are in this number. Great! You remembered! Three! And how many ones? Excellent! There are five ones in this number. Okay! Are you ready for the next bit? Okay! Now, the numbers on my number square. You have to figure out which numbers are missing. Are you ready? Here we go. Use your number square to help you figure it out. Have you found them yet? Go on! Did you find them? How clever you are! Alright, tell me one of the numbers that is missing. Fantastic! 16! It's the number after 15 and before 17. Excellent. Okay, what is another missing number? How clever! The number 49 is missing. We know that 49 is 
missing because it's between 48 and 50. Fantastic! One more missing number. What is it? You're so clever. It is the number 72. 72 is bigger than 71 and smaller than 73. You guys are amazing! Are you ready for another game? For this, I think we need a little bit of help. We need Mr. Math Mystic! Mr. Math Mystic! Oh, fantastic! Mr. Math Mystic! Can you look into your crystal ball and find us two numbers? Oh, that's a good one. Wow! 25! What's the next number? That's my favorite. 37! Good question. What if 
I don't know, if I don't want to show which number is bigger, but instead I want to show which number is smaller. What do I do then? Well, I use the other inequality sign. This one right here. Then I would start with the 25 and I'll use the inequality sign and finish with the 37. You see that the inequality sign is now pointing the other way. It's opening this way. So how do we read this one? Well, now this says 25 is less than 37. That means that 25 is smaller than 37. But do you see how the sign is still eating the big number? And showing his patata to the small number? That's how they work. They like to eat the big number, but they don't want to eat the little number. <laughs> Wasn't that super fun? Oh! Whoa, that was fabulous, man. And my crystal ball tells me it'll do just as well next time, man. Whoa. And today's Math Circus concludes, but as Mr. Math Mystic always says, the future is certain, so we will see you again.